Welcome to another episode of What is Hashimoto's with Dr. Martin Rutherford. To find out more on any of our topics or for information on scheduling a consultation with Dr. Rutherford, please visit us at whatishashimoto's.com. And now, here's Dr. Rutherford. So this is a pretty cool one because no one ever talks about it. And it's Hashimoto's autoimmune reactivity to the thyroid hormones T3 and T4. So for those of you who may not have ever seen any of my things before that we've put online, any of my presentations, then uh, I'll do just a little quick, here's what thyroid hormone is. Your, your thyroid puts out two hormones. One is T4, it's inactive. The other one is T3. It puts out like 93%, I've seen 93 and 97%. It puts out, let's say 90% T4, and it puts out 3% T3. So the T4 has to be turned into T3 because T3 is the active form of the thyroid hormone that goes into the trillions of cells in your body to make you actually work, give you energy, control your temperature and that type of stuff. So if you have not enough T3, you're like, you have no energy. Energy's down, you're cold, you got cold feet, you, you know, you're putting on weight because you know, everything slows down, hair starts falling out, all the classic hypothyroid symptoms. If you have too much T3, you're like this. You're like, you're, 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 you know, you're, you're losing weight, you have more energy than 15 people put together. Um, you know, your, 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 your heart's pounding like crazy, I mean, anxiety, night sweats, panic attacks, you can't sleep, that type of stuff. The second one of those examples, the too much T3, is what you feel like if you get an autoimmune attack against your T3 and against your T4. And it happens, and it's, and it's very disturbing. So, a lot of, so, so sometimes people will have a low thyroid function and they'll take, um, and they'll take T4, so that so synthetic hormones like levothyroxine, synthroid, these have um, these have binders in them. They have a lot of things in them that can flare you up. But they're basically the only the T4 inactive hormone. So that's supposed to, you're supposed to take it, and then your body is supposed to turn that into T3 if your body's able to do that. So so sometimes you'll take that. Maybe you'll feel a little jittery. The doctor won't, won't be able to figure out why. Um, maybe you'll take that and, and you'll feel good for a while and then you'll get jittery. Um, and, 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 the, and the doctor's usually like, I just gave you T4, it's not supposed to do anything. And, and it shouldn't, and, and it, has, it doesn't have a direct effect relative to your immune system attacking your, your, your enzymes that make it but it will have a direct effect if it's being attacked by your immune system. But if you take another thyroid hormone that has T3 in it, and these are the bioidenticals, these are the pig thyroids, these are the cow stuff, this is the, the nature thyroid, which everybody says, oh, it's wonderful, it's bioidentical, it's like, it's wonderful, and you take it, and, you're, and you start like feeling like I said, when you have hyper, you feel like your head's gonna blow off, your heart starts pounding, you start getting irritable and jittery. It's because in there, you also have T3. You have a good chunk of T3 in those. If you have autoimmunity actually attacking the T4 and the T3 hormone, you're gonna find out if you take one of those bioidenticals. And that's not the only reason bioidentical will make you go into hyperthyroid symptoms and functions. But um, there's not that many reasons that that happens either, and, that, and this is one of them. So you can develop antibodies against your T4 and T3. Your doctor might suddenly start to check and see if you have Graves' disease, because Graves has those types of symptoms. Your doctor, doctor will definitely take the thyroid hormone away. And I hate to say this, but most of the time, not understand what happened. And so, if that happens in my world, and, um, and it isn't that the person is taking too much T3, 
maybe that there it isn't because they're being dosed too much T3, which which also can happen um, in a variety of situations, which I'm not going to get into the whole thing. Then uh, then I'm gonna then I'm gonna run antibodies to T4 and T3 and see if they have antibodies. And what's the solution to that? Oh my goodness. That's pretty wild because the solution to that is, 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 is really tough because you, you have to figure out how to do as much as you can without that T4, T3 hormone. And, it's, and, 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 so, uh, and I don't handle the, the medical aspect of it. So it's, it, it can really get hairy. You, you do as much as you can and you can do a lot. You can do a lot depending on where the person is because mo usually that person hasn't been on thyroid hormone because <laughs> every thyroid hormone they take screws them up. And so a lot of times you can get the thyroid immune inflammation to dampen significantly and at least have the person be able to walk around and live a normal life uh, by dampening the immune response against their thyroid, even though their thyroid is going to continue, unfortunately, to deteriorate over time. But there's things that you can do for that, too. So it's like something you really, really don't want to have happen to you. Uh, but it is there. And I wanted to I wanted to let you know that because I've seen it enough. I just and I, and I just went to a seminar not that long ago, in which it was uh, for the first time it was the first time I've actually ever heard it presented in a seminar. And it was uh, it was kind of interesting to see people's ahas in the audience, doctors who are, who are learning this stuff. I'm like, oh, my God, that's what happened to Jane. Oh, my God, I almost blew her brains out. And I gave her more, <laughs> and then I took it away, and so on and so forth. So it's, it's kind of new um, thought. It's kind of a new understanding. But for you folks out there who've taken thyroid hormone, and it's really made you jittery right away, um, you're either getting too much T3, which is the most common reason for that, by the way, or you have developed antibodies to the, to the, to the T4 and the T3 hormones in all of your, in, in, in every single um, thyroid medication that you take. So that's another, that's another red flag. If you go from one medication to the next to the next and you're just getting jacked up on every one of them, suggest your doctor very politely that maybe they should run antibodies to T3 and T4. And I, say, I would say very politely because they may not know to do that. So you don't want to show them up. You want them to like do it. You know, you want them to like help you out there. So. Okay, so that's, this is a pretty important one for a certain population out there. So I hope that population um, is attracted to this and, and, and takes the opportunity to, to get this kind of important information for them. Okay, that's it for today. See you again. Thank you for joining us for another episode of What is Hashimoto's? To find out more on any of our topics or for information on scheduling a consultation with Dr. Rutherford, please visit us at whatishashimoto's.com.